we are employing over 100,000 young people in America, and the majority of them do not have a college degree. We can't be a bystander, and we can't wait for Washington. And I strongly believe that businesses and business leaders must do more for their people and more for the communities we serve. Maybe in many ways, this is what we're, we were supposed to do in, to begin with, mm. and that is serve our people as well as our customers. And that was Starbucks Chief Executive Howard Schultz in a video released today announcing a program to help their employees get an online degree. Hello everyone, welcome to your Monday lunch break. I'm Tanya Rivero. Starbucks is teaming up with Arizona State University to provide tuition reimbursement and financial aid to U.S. employees who enroll in the school's online bachelor's degree program. With more details, we are joined by Wall Street Journal business editor Dennis Berman. Hi, Tanya. Dennis, great to have sure. you here. Thanks for being here. So Starbucks is saying this is the most significant benefit program they've rolled out since they offered stock options in health care a year ago. It'll be interesting to see how many Starbucks employees take this up. The estimate is maybe 10,000 employees. Walmart had a very similar program and, and when it came down to it, not that many people actually followed it through to get a full degree. Very interesting. Now is that perhaps why they chose Arizona State University, figuring an online degree might be easier to fulfill? Right. Well, about 150,000 Starbucks employees overall. Uh, to, to have the time and frankly the cost to go to college, it's getting harder and harder Absolutely. every day out there for a lot of young people. And you know, for Starbucks, they have those beautiful video images that we just saw. I mean, it's about promotion. It's about getting a little bit higher quality person into those stores to, to work at Starbucks. And, and, and so to me, it, it's, you know, it's part PR. We're Maybe sure, we're talking part of about it right, it right here. now. We're talking yes, about it. We're yes, showing those yes. images. But you have to give them a little bit of credit and say, sure. hey, if, if, some, if a few hundred or a few thousand people can get degrees, then that's a positive step. Sure, but what is the expectation on the part of the company? Do the employees have to stick with the company? Are there only certain fields that they'll get reimbursed Well, for? this is one of the neater things about the program, Tanya, is that you don't have to do things related to mm. the job. And that's unusual. And that's unusual. Program. Walmart, they'll pay for your mm -hmm. degree, but if it's about logistics or, or other things related to working at Walmart. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do electrical engineering, you can go ahead and maybe get a few credits through ASU and, and, and perhaps a full degree. So right. uh, 40 specialties overall are offered through Arizona State. And do we have any idea what the response has been so far from employees? I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I reckon that it will be very well received. But then again, I think the question is how many people actually take it up. Okay? Right, right. And so, um, I think people have a lot of great intentions, mm -hmm. but time and cost and family pressures, they get in the way. And, and I think this speaks to a bigger question about education overall, which is are we moving to a two-tier two world in which uh, those who can't afford it are, are basically taking their classes online and those who can afford have a real live college experience for which there's presumably a a, a better benefit than just right. looking at the computer screen. And what are the qualifications the employees need to have? They, of course, need to be accepted, first of all, into the university program. They need to program. be accepted, and they need to work at least 20 hours a week at a Starbucks. 20 hours a yeah. week for a certain amount of time, or they can be a new employee that's signed No, up. they need to be there for some duration uh, okay. previously, yeah. All so, right. um, look, there are going to be tens of thousands of people who qualify, and it'll be really interesting to see an experiment at this scale how many people get through the system. Absolutely. We'll see what happens.